Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, with the advent of COVID-19, I have been sheltering in place for the past several weeks. But you know, it's about time I headed back out on the water, so here I am, out of Newport Beach with Quan Anthony and a few other people, preparing to go rock fishing. As you can see, conditions aren't ideal for fishing right now. We're still inside the harbor where, you know, you can still see quite a distance away. Actually, it wasn't too bad inside the harbor as you can see here. But as we get out into open water, you're going to see visibility starts to decrease considerably. Here we are right at the mouth of the harbor. And you can see we could barely, you could barely spot the folks way up ahead. There are four other people right in front of me. This is our group, by the way. There were six of us in total. And here at the mouth of the harbor, we started a meter schools of bait fish. So a number of the guys throw out sabiki rigs, hoping to catch some live bait for the trip out to deeper water. At this point, I'm in about 150 feet of water and I land my first double. They appear to be spot fin croaker. I'm used to catching these guys inside of the harbor, so it was surprising to see them way out here. Now I'm at 170 feet of water and I had to speed up the footage because bringing the fish up from that depth requires a lot of cranking of this reel. As you know, I'm accustomed to fishing shallower water, 30 to 40 feet is where I normally catch sand bass, calicos, and sheep's head. So that was a lot of work for this little sand bass. So after releasing that sand bass, I cast out another set of squid and immediately land my first double for rockfish. As you can see, I'm using a double dropper loop rig here, and I have a one pound sinker. At these depths, at this point, we're right around 200 feet, and the heavy sinker is necessary to fight the current and get your bait down quickly to the bottom. As you can see here, I land another sand bass. This guy's actually bigger than the first one. But again, at these depths, it's just a lot of work to go bass fishing, but they're out here. Here's a better look at this. Nice little sand bass. I'd much rather catch him in 30 to 40 feet of water though. Now that you know that I'm using a double dropper loop rig, regarding bait, I am using both squid and shrimp. And if you're fishing shrimp at these depths, you're bound to catch an ocean whitefish or two. And this is a decent sized one. I believe that was the last single fish that I caught on my rig. Soon after that, it was nothing but doubles on rockfish for the rest of the morning. It was wide open. They loved the deeper water and we were on top of a school. It was simply wide open. I was catching doubles on nearly every cast. Here I've sped the footage again, otherwise you're just gonna be watching me cranking away on this reel. But that's just a part of rock fishing at these depths. Here's another double on reds. And so it went all morning long. We were catching fish left and right. I ended up releasing most of them. I kept 10 for the day. But like I mentioned earlier, this is not a fishing video. This is all about catching. We had our limits in rockfish well before noon. So here, I'm back inside the harbor. You can see it's a bit clearer here. The fog never let up out in that deeper water, which can be nerve wracking when you hear boats out in the distance just speeding towards you. Fortunately, there was just enough visibility out there for them to slow down and 
avoid you. It was great to be back out on the water again with friends. Now, during this pandemic, it's really critical to be physically distant. I don't like to say socially distant because as human beings, we're just social creatures and it's certainly possible to be social while remaining physically distant and that's what we did today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching.